In this tutorial, we will show you the most effective techniques that will help you speed up your working process in Premiere Pro several times. Method 1. Structure your work material. In this kind of display, it is difficult to figure out where and what material you have located. By pressing the icon view button, we change the way the material is displayed. It becomes much more convenient to look through the source files. If you have more files and need to sort and select them, it is better to use the assembly tab. All windows here are adjusted to work with source files. By double clicking on the file and pressing the space bar, it is displayed on the source monitor. And by swiping left or right on the file, we see the content inside. For convenience, you can place the files in the order you need. Or sort by groups. We can create a folder by right-clicking in the project window. New bin. Give it a name. And now it is possible to sort files by folders. Method 2. Use hotkeys. Using hotkeys greatly speeds up the editing process. On the example of transferring material to the timeline, we select the file, and we set the entry and exit points. Press I press O. To transfer this area to the timeline, press this key. And that's it, just three buttons and you're done. Method 3. Adjustment Layer Let's create an adjustment layer. Right-click in the project window, New Item. Adjustment Layer. We check that its parameters match the working sequence parameters. This layer does not carry visual information. It is convenient to apply effects. Color correction to several elements at the same time or to all videos at once. Select an adjustment layer and apply a lot to it. Now this color scheme has been applied to all the elements below our layer. You can do the same with effects. Let's take crop for demonstration. Drag it to the adjustment layer. All settings applied to it are visible in the effect controls window. Lumetri color. And the crop we applied. Let's make a screen porridge for our video. By applying the settings to the adjustment layer, we can see the changes in all segments. Method 4. Fast work on the timeline. Practice working on the timeline with hotkeys. You can quickly crop a view with two buttons. Lock all layers except the ones you want to crop. 
To trim the left side with offset, press the Q key. To do the same with the right side, press W. To play the video, press the L key. And with each next press, the speed is doubled. You can stop playback with the K key. And you can play the video in reverse order with the K key. It also works with acceleration. Use the arrows on your keyboard to navigate. Method 5. Use graphics from Graphics Studios. Working with graphics is one of the most difficult and time-consuming process in video editing. Take titles for example. We can select the text tool. Create titles manually. Change the font. Make animation for them. All these things take a long time. Animation presets speed up the process significantly. In this tutorial, I use a plugin from Easy Edit Studio. I will leave a link to it in the description. With one click, titles are placed on our timeline. Set up in the Essential Graphics window. Change the text, font, color and more. Don't forget to render in areas where the timeline is red. Select the entry and exit point of the area to render with hotkeys and press enter. Now this area is calculated and displayed correctly without freezing. Method 6. Premiere Pro Settings To work quickly in Premiere Pro, it is important to make some specific settings. Let's go to the Settings. Preferences Memory There are three options. Common Memory memory for other applications and memory for premiere pro if you do not use other programs at the same time you can set the maximum amount of memory for premiere pro it happens very often while using animation the playback starts to slow down to avoid this, we change the playback quality from full to something smaller. Turn off high quality playback. And change the paused resolution to another value. If the image continues to lag, render that part. Select an in and out point and press enter. Now there are no problems with playback. Method 7. Scene Edit Detection. The latest update to Premiere Pro has a very useful feature. Take, for example, a short video a minute long. Right click on it and select Scene Edit Detection. 
The first point cuts our video in the places where it was glued on the edit. And the second item places them in a separate folder in the project window. The program automatically cut our video in the places where it was glued. Works very accurately, all glues are at the junction of different footages. And along with this, we created a folder with these files. Use these techniques and you will significantly reduce your editing time.